Textual analysis instructions can be found on the Google Classroom. And I want to go through some of the details of how to do a textual analysis uh, by going through the guide instructions. So I happen to have them right here, but they can be found on the classroom under textual analysis. And if you want to see it, you just go back to the beginning of the classroom and uh, search for it here. Here are the instructions. All right, so I've, I've downloaded the um, document. And I want to go through it with you. Okay, so all right, so here we go. The task, demonstrate knowledge and understanding of how meaning is constructed in film through a written analysis of a prescribed film text based on the chosen extract lasting no more than five minutes from that film. So we, the films we've chosen are, uh, well, one of them is not a film, but a TV series, and that's uh, Stranger Things, first episode, second episode together. And then the second one is Akira, a, an anime film from Japan, and... The third one is Water, an Indian film came out in 2005. So what we're going to be doing here then is we're going to be looking at key terminology. All right. So uh, cultural context, and for this assessment, cultural context involves consideration of some of the following factors. Some of these which may be blended into such so socioeconomic factors. So uh, in, in ex for example, with the Indian film especially, uh, people living in poverty, uh, and of course in Japan, this uh, post, um, let's say post-war, but post-apocalyptic uh, situation they're in after the nuclear bomb went off. And then of course we're talking about uh, small town life in um, Stranger Things. So we want to keep these ideas in mind here, these uh, different topics, okay? Uh, economic, geographical, historical, institutional, political, social, and technological. Cool. So film elements. Now this is where our film language comes in. Okay, so film elements. For this assessment task, film elements may include, but are not limited to, the following. Cinematography, such as color. Again, this is the English spelling of color, FOLA. <clears throat> and uh, that's not American. Uh, composition, exposure, framing, focus scale. That must mean, I think, like depth of field, things like that movement, shot type, and so on. Critical response and reception, that's what the critics thought of it and how it was received by audiences. Editing such as continuity, cut, dissolve, match, montage, pace, transition, and so on. Is it edited uh, in a very simple way, a lot of montage, is it artsy looking, things like that, that it, an editor would have uh, taken a film and, and, and transformed it into that. Filmmakers' influences, intentions, and vision. That was that beginning part where I had you guys do a breakdown of uh, the director, producer, and writer, and possible influences there. So that'll help you in this um, in this project. Okay, genre codes and conventions. Like for example, genre obviously with Akira is an anime film, uh, and for Stranger Things is a horror sci-fi thriller. I guess you could call it. Uh, yeah. And then codes and conventions would mean anything that kind of puts it outside of the accepted norm for that society. Uh, and in, in water, um, I'm not sure, I haven't seen the whole film yet, but uh, for, um, for, I would say, Stranger Things definitely fits in the feel of the early 1980s and is definitely influenced by that. Uh, and they want to follow what's going on in the world uh, in the 80s. And we had no cell phones, uh, limited communication compared to what we have today. Uh, kids would ride their bikes around the neighborhood and feel safe, kind of like in uh, Super 8 and other uh, films that are depicted in that time period. But conventions like, you know, what's an accepted way of uh, behaving, uh, especially like in water where uh, this woman uh, appears to be very strong and kind of stands out differently from other women because she doesn't just follow what men have to tell her and she has her own life. Uh, so that's some things to consider and, and to research. So mess and scene, what's included in those scenes? What's included in the film? What does it look like? Such as acting, uh, uh, is, it, uh, is it good acting? Well, uh, how do we decide that? How do we measure that? What we're talking about more is just the way they behave in the film. Is it appropriate to that time period? Is it appropriate for that sort of... Um, person for that sort of uh, situation they're in. The art direction, of course, for the Indian film, it's really hard for us to measure because it uh, we're not familiar with that culture. But 
I would say that the uh, definitely art direction is fitting for an Indian film. Uh, I've spent uh, some time around um, some Indian weddings, and it definitely looks like what they would be wearing. Uh, so uh, also makeup and decor, yes, again, lighting, set, and setting, pace, and so on. Now those are things you have to research. Is it appropriate for that theme? What does it mean? Does it have, and again, into the next part here, mo motifs, symbols, and themes. What do you see in these films? Well, you see a monster in, uh, um, I was almost said Super 8, but in Stranger Things, and symbols and themes, of course, you'd see in the other films, too, with uh, uh, you know evil being depicted in, uh, in both of those films, and evil being depicted, really, in water, too, just by the situation that they're in. Now, narrative structure, we talked about the three, act, uh, three acts. Uh, can, are they clearly um, visible? Can you, can you define them? You should be able to define them clearly in these three films. Uh, and narrative structure should also include and discuss, uh, you should also be discussing character arc and story arc. You know, what happens to these characters in a story arc and a character arc? How does the character change while um, in these films? Like what happens at the beginning to the character and what, what has, has the character been transformed uh, throughout their experience in the film? Uh, sounds such as dialogue, sound editing, sound effects and foley, soundtrack, music or score, diegetic, non-diegetic sound and so on. Now we've studied all this, you should know these terms. Um, you know, dialogue of course is important and, and we're talking about the Indian film, of course we don't speak Hindi, I believe is the language they're speaking, but you can tell by the uh, diction, by the way the uh, lines are delivered in a hard way, a soft way, uh, uh, very uh, fast or slow, you can really tell what's going on in a film usually by the way dialogue is delivered uh, and not even necessarily what they're saying. Okay, so sound effects and foley are definitely part of every film, especially for Akira, because all of it is uh, done in the studio. You know, none, none of it is actually on location because, of course, it's a animated film. Uh, so sound effects, foley, very important. Sound editing, um, the soundtrack for it, especially for Stranger Things, is definitely fitting for that time period. The music they use, the, uh, the sound effects, even the title looks like something from the 1980s. Diegetic and non-diegetic sound. Uh, very important to these sound that's added, sound that uh, appears to be existing already in the film. These are all things you need to discuss. Okay, so let's talk about what you submit for assessment. A written textual analysis of 1,750 words maximum. Someone asked me, what's the minimum? Well, I would keep it between 1,700 words and 1,750 words just to be careful and safe. Okay, list all your sources used. Formatting your work. Begin by stating which film elements you are going to discuss. You may Use carefully selected and relevant illustrations, including screen grabs, visuals, and or, or diagrams. They must be labeled and, of course, cited uh, at the end. You want to cite those sources, too, where you got those. Adopt a formal academic register, meaning sound intelligent. Yes, you can sound intelligent. You must try to write in a formal way. Okay, this may be written in the first person and may reflect personal opinion and reaction where appropriate. Okay, make sure you, your work is clear and legible when presented in digital on-screen format. So we're, and that's why they're asking here, you're using this particular format, uh, 4A, uh, I'm sorry, A4 or U.S. lettered, and type your work in a legible sans serif 12 point font. So sans serif 12 point is what they want. State the number of words you have used at the end of the textual analysis, so you just list, you know, number of words. Very simple, straightforward. All sources must be acknowledged following the protocol of referencing style, which is chosen by your school. So, guys, I have to send this in to that turnitin.com or whatever it is, or they check your, your stuff. I have to send it through that, so don't plagiarize. If you, uh, if you use uh, work ideas or images belonging to another person, the source must be acknowledged in an in-text citation. So right after you use it, you have to mark it with a citation. What the examiner is looking for, cultural context, something we've talked about a lot. We used to call it socio-cultural context, but cultural context is fine. That counts for six marks. For your assessment, you need to demonstrate an understanding of the cultural context of the film text. In other words, how does this uh, how does this match to the culture that it was made in it? And what does it mean to you in your own culture, where you come from? Okay, cultural context, very important. Like the Indian film, what did that mean to 
to Indians. What does that mean to somebody from India? Very important. And then you look at the contrast between what it meant or means to an Indian, and what it means to someone from the U.S. Okay, probably very different. Support your understanding of the cultural context with research from relevant sources. So you're looking up sources to help you find what you need to break down these these barriers between cultures. So you're going to find out what someone from their culture thought of the film, what some an American maybe, uh, North American thought. And then you can even look at other cultures and what how they looked at this film based on on these cultural differences. Okay, film terms, uh, film elements, and film terminology. These are worth 12 marks. Okay, for assessment, you need to demonstrate an understanding of how the extract makes use of film elements to co to convey meaning in the chosen film. So, what uh, what does your extract, meaning the clip of the film that's five minutes long or less, what makes this film element convey the meaning of the chosen film so what what meaning does this scene have to the film you want to find a scene that is very important to the film a pivotal moment a decision someone makes and you can clearly see why they made it possibly uh, and support your observations with, with relevant film vocabulary film language is what that should say so you're talking about how they how that that scene is depicted in the film and why why did they use a close-up at a certain time why did they use a wide shot uh, did they use vertigo zoom? Something to, to emphasize what's happening in the film. Okay, relationship within the film text. Six marks. For assessment, you need to demonstrate an understanding of the ways in which the cultural context of the film and a selection of the identified film elements relate to each other as well as to the chosen film text as a whole. This might also feasibly include where appropriate relationships to other film texts. Now this is a little bit more difficult to explain here. Um, so we're going to go through it again. Demonstrate an understanding of the way in which the cultural context, again, cultural context of the film, and a selection of the identified film elements relate to each other. So uh, the cultural context and other elements of the film, how do they connect? Okay, as a, as a whole, okay, and in this might also feasibly include where appropriate relationships to other film texts so you can compare it to other films at this point. Okay. So that's a complicated issue there for that last one, but I wanted you all to get a good idea of what this looks like and what is expected. So I will be showing you next some examples from the IB on how this should look.